Hi, my name is Terry. Um, I suffer from PTSD. Um, and I'm 56 years old. I I was molested by my father from the age of five. I don't remember much of it, only segments. All I can remember is one Christmas, I woke up with him in my bed and performing sex on me. I, I just, anyway, it kept going on till my late teens and people, and some people will probably say, well, you were a teenager. Why didn't you stop it? Well, basically, I thought I was protecting my younger, my youngest brother. Uh, to my dismay, years later, after he died, I found out that he was molesting him. I have very, I have a lot of difficulty making friends. I have trust issues, especially with men. I have no friends, no close friends. I have a lot of acquaintances. I, I've been in therapy, seeing a psychologist for the past 10 years and last year I happened to find PTSD buddies. I found that it, it has helped somewhat. I am getting I am getting more comfortable being around men. I, one of the side effects of the PTSD was I cannot be in a room of men. My back, I'll be at the door with my back against the wall. And waiting, if someone approached me, I would bolt. I can't walk down a dark street at night for fear of being attacked. My marriage is basically on the rocks right now. Fortunately, I am on new medication. Hopefully, this will help and save my marriage. I'm I always feel alone. I have a habit of putting, taking people for their word. When someone shows me kindness, and usually I end up getting hurt, getting the old kick in the stomach. Uh, especially when I let down my wall. Because I want people to like me. I find that I'm comfortable with women, around women because they're not threatening to me. And it's good that I, at PTSD, I now know that I'm not alone. 
there's others like me unfortunately the stigma of males being abused sexually abused doesn't is still out in the world but when you've been trained from age five it's that's the only thing you know and I just and I just want to let other people other males who have been gone through my situation that yes it is a very long and difficult road people say you'll get over it personally I don't think so you learn to live with it you learn how to recognize the triggers you learn you learn how to cope it's it's very difficult for me to talk about it I especially knowing that this will go hopefully this will go on our page but I feel that I need to do this it's I guess another step in my recovery and I've And I'd like, and I want other males to know that you're not alone. Everybody's story is different. It's mine, where I don't remember much of mine. A lot of times I feel that my PTSD is not as bad as others. But the effects are still the same. No confidence. Loneliness. Depression. It just makes it so hard to get through a day. When you hit those valleys. When you hit those lump, don't hit those dips in the road and you're saying to yourself is it worth it and today is one of those days I managed to get through Christmas I went through the motions And there's times I feel like giving up. And this is one of the days. I'm going to try to go to my safe place at the local river. And hopefully that will ground me, bring me back. Right now, I don't even know if I'm going to continue with the PTSD buddies. I just feel so empty inside, so angry, so alone, and, but I have to come, I have to get, get through this for my family. Because of them, I am here today. I just I just can't give up but right now I 
I just want it all to end. But I'm going to go to my safe place now and hopefully it'll ground me and bring me back. <laughs>